card framework is a card framework. Card framework is a card game framework for Godot. Uh, the, the footage here is a bit laggy, but it works pretty smooth to me. Uh, my computer just gets laggy footage when something's moving on screen. Uh, the the like add-on has a lot of functions uh, like drawing cards, moving them around, putting them on slots, basically anything you need for a card game. And uh, yeah, make your Black Shock loans with this one. <laughs> You might have heard about desktop pads, but uh, have you heard about viewport pads? Yes, this add-on lets you add a cute little Gido plushie style mascot to your viewport. Uh, I installed the plugin and it crashed my Gido one time. Uh, after that, uh, it didn't give me any er errors. Is it distracting? Yeah, absolutely, yes. Should you install this one? Yeah, it's probably on you. Aside from some Questionable add-ons. This one, which is a first-person multiplayer framework kind of thingy, uh, is a really nice add-on. I checked it out uh, a while back, and it is pretty nice. Uh, the multiple multiplayer capabilities I haven't tested that much, but it used to be good, and I think it's a really good thing to start on. Now JSON is good, and the saving file data and the inventory system. And just about saving almost anything, JSON is the best way to go about anything. But I always wanted a manual editor inside Gido so I can just edit my JSON files here. And uh, this add-on does the same the thing. Uh, after enabling the add-on, you can see uh, this, this scene which you can run. Also, you can see on the right corner, like you can see there's uh, another editor appeared. It, and uh, you can just uh, open this one and load a JSON file here and edit it in this editor. And it's pretty cool. Simple but yet useful if you are working with a large amount of files and you need to do some manual changes. It's a really nice thing. Okay, procedural materials. Everyone loves them and I do. Procedural material uh, designer lets you design as it says, design procedural materials inside the Gido game engine. Uh, the node interface is really nice. It has some of the cool little quality of life features like dragging a uh, point and leaving it in space and adding the co corresponding like node types. So that's just really nice. And uh, at the in the inspector, you can see the preview. Uh, apparently, my e e like recording is a bit cut off, and I'm too lazy to record it again. <laughs> And uh, you can see that it's pretty nice. And I think uh, uh, if they improve it more, it could become a really nice solution for creating procedural materials. Uh, I think they should take inspiration, uh, inspiration from like big material makers and a really nice approach. Definitely something that is still usable. It lets you export like uh, normal map, 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 maps, albedos, albedo on post and something like that and yeah it's a really nice add-on okay for the last one we have this ultimate platformer controller now this one isn't something that's too insane or uh, too much of a thing but uh, uh, i really wanted to appreciate this underrated creator who created this add-on i mean it's just a, a simple project it's a simple platformer controller with a, a lot of features definitely a lot of features so definitely check them out noisy know-how so yeah, that's it for today's video. Uh, there are some more add-ons that I need to mention, but uh, I'm actually testing them out, learning more about them. I'll maybe make some dedicated videos on some of these add-ons. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.